Hey, what's up, Street Talks? It's Eric Kim for the Eric Kim Street Photography Blog. Uh, just currently came back from an epic road trip up to NorCal for about four days. Drove along the Central Coast, uh, camped a little bit in Pismo Beach. So There's a good chance to see some friends and just chill out. And I just wanted to do this quick video um, reflecting on uh, what to bring to Vietnam. So if I haven't told you guys yet, um, essentially I'm going to be in Vietnam for the next year and a half or so. The plan is uh, for about a year and a half, um, the first eight months or so we're going to be in Hanoi, then six months in Saigon, then actually six months in France, so three months in the Paris and probably another three months in the south of France. And it's the first time I've actually ever lived anywhere abroad. And it's kind of frightening because the most time I've spent any place abroad was maybe max two months. And, you know, I'm, I'm used to traveling, you know, I know how to pack light and uh, pack mostly dry fit and stuff like that but this is the first time once again over two years living abroad uh, I don't really know what to expect and this is what I have tentatively so far um, for my trip so uh, my main backpack for the trip is the think tank perception 15 it uh, is probably the best photo backpack I've ever used in my life and I've used a lot of backpacks and uh, the reason why I love it is uh, not only are the shoulders super padded and comfortable, but also the fact that the zipper here on top has enough space for an iPad as well as a back, uh, as a laptop. Usually I just have my laptop, so I'm actually currently recording this on a 13-inch MacBook Pro, and often I usually carry around Cindy's laptop, which is a 13-inch MacBook Air, which both fit in this backpack. And for my main camera for the trip is my trusty Ricoh GR camera, and I'm not exactly sure whether I'm going to be my film camera, I actually currently have my film like MP uh, being serviced right now. One of the lug nuts fell off. It's actually pretty weird. But anyways, I'm getting it fixed right now at a place called Steve Camera in Culver City in Los Angeles. And because I'm going to be spending so much time abroad, I don't know if I want to shoot film because I don't want to deal with having to get processed, scanned. And probably the biggest issue is just keeping the negative stored and having to travel with it for two years abroad. And I figured at the end of the day, um, my photography, it's more about teaching and education. I like the idea of shooting digital because I could share all the things with you guys um, on my trip. And one thing I actually picked up for my trip is a new uh, SD card. So it's actually a Transcend 128 gigabyte card. Uh, this is one that I'm keeping in the Rico. And it's awesome because I could just take like, a bajillion photos in this. And nowadays I'm shooting RAW plus JPEG, often just using the JPEG images. And one thing that I actually really like is in the Rico, you could choose different effects. I'm actually currently using this uh, preset here called Cross Process. And what I love about it is it kind of gives you these funky colors. And I actually quite like the colors is that it's a, it's a look that I can't get with any presets I've been able to make, not even with um, the VSC ones. And why the Rico GR? Because it's currently the really the only camera I have. And I love how small it is, how compact it is. It fits into my front pocket. And especially when I'm traveling and living abroad, the less stuff I carry with me, the, the more pleasant life is going to be, essentially. And as you guys might have known, I've been doing a lot more YouTube videos, which has been a lot of fun. My buddy Todd Hatakiyama, uh, check out his YouTube channel as well, Todd Hada. He's been encouraging me to do more videos, so this is for you, Todd. And uh, speaking of video, I have also my trusty GoPro. It's the older Hero 3, I think it, it works just fine. And what you guys might know is, I have this little clip here on the bottom, which I've done a lot in the past to make these little GoPro street photography videos where I attach this on top of my other cameras to kind of give you guys a fun little point of view. So this could essentially screw on top of the camera. So I'm essentially recording the video while I'm shooting with Rico and I'll just edit in the videos afterwards. So hopefully I'll, I'll do a few of these videos while I'm out in Vietnam. And I currently have the extended battery pack on it. So if I just kind of unclip this. For those of you guys never known the GoPros, you could actually detach this back here. This is a little battery pack that you could just kind of attach to the back of here. And the, another thing I actually have is the LCD screen which is another thing I could snap onto the back of this. And so if I'm going to do videos and I want to have uh, an LCD screen to kind of figure out what's going on, I could use that. And also what's really cute, and I hope you guys will enjoy this, I have this little 
Olympus stereo microphone that just makes the audio sound a little bit better. And it could actually plug here into the side of this guy. So boom, portable uh, little interview kit. And so you can see if I push this here and turn it on, right? You would kind of see me. All right. And yeah, so hopefully what I'm doing, uh, my plans are when I'm in Vietnam, not only do I want to do street photography stuff, but you know, maybe just kind of fun random travel stuff, you know, just showing what life is like in Vietnam. It's quite possibly one of the most underrated places in the world. I freaking love it to death. The food is so good. The people are so friendly. Um, and at least in the South, I'm, I'm going to Hanoi first, but when I was living in Saigon for two months, about two years ago, super fast free Wi-Fi everywhere. I don't know so much how it's going to be in uh, the North and Hanoi. I know that there's fewer coffee shops, but I'm sure I'm going to find some places with um, good Wi-Fi. And in terms of um, other stuff, you know, I'm bringing headphones. Uh, this is actually a really cool find that I, I got on Amazon. It's this Anchor travel adapter. So it could kind of pop out like this. So pop that in. But the coolest thing is that it's got two of these ports. I know they even sell the, the ones that have four ports, but I think that's a little bit overkill. So even what I'll do is, you know, this is the, the charger for my GoPro. And also I have the Ricoh GR charger, which uh, I could just plug into here. And actually it just connects to the side of the Ricoh. So having this kind of adapter is really useful when it comes to traveling. And, you know, got, I'm going to bring my, these headphones, the, Bo the Bose QC15s. They're outdated now, but the reason I like it is surprisingly the microphone, which I'm using on uh, this video right now, is pretty good. And also when I'm just traveling in a plane, it's just kind of nice to have noise cancellation. But at the end of the day, I don't really need it. But since I figured the audio sounds pretty good, I'll kind of stick with it. And uh, more interesting, uh, I'm just kind of asking myself is what not to bring on this trip. Because uh, at least for me in the past, my issue is always overpacking. The things I probably will not bring, you know, I might change my mind last minute, but uh, not bring my Kindle Paperwhite nor my iPad. The, I have an iPad Air because they're just kind of superfluous nowadays. Um, if you just kind of have a smartphone, I don't think you really need an iPad or a Kindle. I actually read most of my um, my books on my Kindle app on my phone nowadays. And in terms of clothes, uh, I bought these Unical Airism shirts. They're the dry mesh ones and they're just black. I just got three of them, V-necks. You know, easy. I, every single night, I could just wash them with uh, soap and water in the shower, kind of wring them out and hang dry it. They're dry. Um, for the shorts, I picked up these uh, Quicksilver amphibian shorts. They're essentially these board shorts, which are meant for uh, surfers. And so, when you're washing them in the sink, they dry super quick. And it's most, I think, it's almost all polyester. The one of the pro tips I have is when you're traveling, don't wear cotton because cotton uh, just kind of wicks sweat and it's. Uh, it takes forever to dry. Also picked up these uh, quick dry socks on Amazon. It's called Dry Max. I got three pairs of medium because they dry really quickly. I'm going to bring a pair of my uh, Nikes, um, the Free Motion RNs. And uh, I think I did a re review on it. Thanks for those guys, the sneakerheads out there for all your fee feedback. And probably just bring a, bring a pair of flip flops. And uh, I have three pairs of ex officio boxer briefs. They're the best boxers ever and once again they're super quick dry and i might bring like a dress shirt and a dress pair of pants just in case i go to church or something when i'm traveling and so i i think honestly all the things i need for my trip could just fit in my backpack but uh oh another thing we did was we bought a helmet for our trip uh in vietnam because we probably don't want to buy helmets there it's probably made with like cardboard or something but um generally the quality of the helmets in the states are better so we're probably going to buy a motorbike when we're there, I'm not exactly sure when, but um, so that's gonna be pretty big. So I'll probably end up just bringing my backpack and just, you know, a suitcase luggage thing to bring some extra stuff. And in terms of backing up photos, I have everything probably synced through Dropbox. I can upload them to Flickr. And also another thing I did was, um, because, you know, I'm just shooting with the Rico, the files aren't so big. Uh, what I, instead of just buying another external hard drive, which I usually do, so I bought two of these. So one of this is inside my Rico, but another this is going to be st spare storage. And this is probably the one of the most useful things I learned when I did David Allen Harvey's workshop and um, the Magnum workshop is when he shoots all his photos in the SD cards, he just puts them in a Ziploc bag and keeps SD cards forever. And he'll just label it 
where he's been what year it is because nowadays SC cards are so cheap so once I fill this bad boy up I'll probably just use the other one and I'll just kind of not only keep them backed up on my laptop but probably backed up on the cloud via Google Photos or whatever and also have the original film almost and if I ever run out of space I could always buy more SD cards while I'm in Vietnam because you buy pretty much anything there and yeah so that's essentially what I have for my trip um, currently as of now um, love to hear your guys suggestions in the comments and still just I have about like a week and a half left I'm, I'm leaving to August um, to Vietnam end of August and also fun news we're actually staying at a four-star hotel in Hanoi guess how much it costs 13 bucks a night so we're actually thinking about just permanently maybe living in a hotel and not even getting an apartment but we'll see but uh thank you so much for watching the support i'll keep you guys updated with everything and uh, until next time keep rocking the streets keep enjoying your life keep having fun and thank you guys so much for the love and support peace out